What is up guys? Welcome back to another Tesla video. Today we got something pretty special, which is a brand new leaked patent from Tesla that shows Elon Musk's approach to his own vision of FSD, which is full self-driving. So we currently have a lot of really big things going on with Tesla. Not only do we have some news in the battery department, the brand new Model S refresh 2021 version, along with the Model X refresh, but also the software component, which is super important. Now, if you guys want to get a Tesla and you want to get some sort of autopilot, the highway autopilot is already included in the package. But if you want the FSD, which lets you essentially drive in inner cities and recognize stop signs and stop lights and pedestrians, then you have to pay about $10,000 more, which is kind of pricey, but some individuals say it's a lot worth it. And plus Tesla's profit margin for these brand new software updates and also the FSD is increasing because they're using cheaper materials, cheaper items. They're not using a lot of LIDAR or radar, which really cuts down the cost. If you try to equip an electric vehicle with purely LIDAR, it's extremely expensive. Look at the Neo ET7 vehicle. It's completely decked out with LiDAR sensors. But here's the thing, the pricing is kind of expensive and no way can Neo actually get the price down with that many LiDAR sensors around the car, 360 degrees. It's very, very difficult. Right now, Tesla received a brand new patent last week for estimating object properties and they will be using visual image data. And Musk is estimating that Tesla will be having FSD beta completely free of bugs and everything is completely good by the end of this year. Meaning we should be achieving full autonomy and I guess you could probably take the beta away from the FSD. Tesla will also be releasing a brand new version, a heavily updated version of the beta in April. And he also says that Tesla was going for a pure vision and would not even use LiDAR or radar sensors in the future. And if you check out the patent, it essentially addresses the increasing cost and complexity of a lot of these sensors. LiDAR is extremely expensive, and if they could use camera and software to detect and also interpret data, that is probably the best ideal way because it's a lot cheaper, cuts down costs, better profit margins, because would you guys wanna spend like 60K for a Model 3? Probably not. Because Tesla is using cameras, they managed to lower the cost just by a little bit, especially how Tesla wants to be making like a really cheap 18, $25,000 Tesla vehicle fully equipped with FSD the only way to make a vehicle that cheap with full self-driving beta is using cameras and software and not LiDAR or radar. And this is pretty awesome. Essentially, Tesla's patent, if you see here, describes an invention using two different neural networks to find the distances of vehicles by using image only. The first neural network will determine the distance of the objects, and then the second neural network will create training material and essentially get like distance and also annotated images. It's a little bit complicated, but so far, if you look at the patent, it looks super interesting. Essentially, Tesla vehicles really do not want to use LiDAR or radar, and using this kind of component is honestly pretty smart. And so far, other companies will love to use cameras instead of LiDAR, but here's the thing. They only have a few million miles, whereas Tesla already racked up several billions of miles with their FSD program. Other companies simply do not have the time or expertise, and I highly doubt that Tesla will ever sell their software to other companies. I think they're keeping it really hush and really locked up so other companies can't really take it or use it. This is why a lot of other companies are resorting to LiDAR because no way do they have the time or money to rack up that many miles compared to Tesla and also having the enough software and also the enough cameras on the car, it's very difficult, especially the software component. It's pretty time consuming. Remember, Tesla started this full self-driving program a few years ago and I'm talking about years, and they already had a really dedicated team of software engineers, and they already have so many years and years of experience that their software, after so many updates, eventually became the FSD beta. And right now, if you want to try the FSD beta, you're kind of out of luck because Tesla already announced that it will be giving out the FSD beta like a few weeks ago, but we should be seeing a much wider release around the summer of 2021. Now, if you already have the FSD beta, be prepared for a massive FSD beta update around mid-April, and we also will be seeing more videos and more images of the FSD beta in action. I watched a few Twitter videos here and there, and I gotta admit the full self-driving is honestly amazing. The vehicle could actually recognize stop signs, pedestrians, turn in really hard areas, and even when a car is coming towards you, it will actually swerve right or left to avoid it. So the car is pretty smart, and some even say that's smarter than a human driver. Now obviously there's still some glitches and still some bugs here and there. There are videos and also articles out there saying how the vehicle almost hit another vehicle, even though it was just going in a straight line, it was about a turn, and they had to put on the emergency brakes. 
So it's not perfect, but we should be seeing more and more improvements as time goes on, especially with this patent. It's such exciting that Tesla really wants to be finding a way to make the best software in the least time consuming way and also the cheapest cost. Tesla's patent should significantly improve the FSD technology. It will be reducing Tesla's reliance on sensors, third party LIDARs, and et cetera to improve the FSD beta. Now, this is totally different approach than other companies like Waymo, which is using a lot of radar and a lot of LIDAR. Tesla is simply not really using this kind of stuff and just strictly relying on their cameras and also their software to do the job. It really does remind me of the Google Pixel smartphones, which if you check out the cameras, the hardware is very basic. It's usually a single lens or a double lens camera, whereas other companies are going for triple lens or even four or five lens cameras. The Google Pixel smartphones rely heavily on the software aspect and they barely do anything with the hardware. I mean, right now you have companies and also smartphones making three camera lenses, four camera lenses, five camera lenses on the very back, whereas you got Google over here only having the double cameras, the images take just as well. I mean, they rely heavily on the software. I think this is exactly what Tesla's going, relying more heavily on the software compared to hardware, and this way they could really cut down the cost and really start raking things in. And by the way, Tesla's marketing is pretty phenomenal. They also will be announcing the FSD beta for subscription use. This subscription program would be very, very crucial because there are individuals out there that are thinking if they should shell out $10,000 for the FSD beta, but right now they can actually try it. I'm guessing it could be like $100, $200 a month. Some individuals may be willing to pay it, try it out, and I feel like the majority of them will like it and eventually upgrade to the FSD beta because it's $10,000, so you really need to make a well decision before you purchase it. It's pretty expensive. I think it's pretty worth it, but honestly though, if you buy a Tesla, and you don't get it, you get autopilot on the highway anyway, but you don't get lane assist, so that kind of sucks. But so far, we should be seeing more updates of the FSC beta, especially how full self-driving, according to Kathy Wood and also ARK Invest, they're saying that this is why Tesla could be worth like $3,000 a share, which is kind of absurd because of the full self-driving. You could essentially have a whole fleet of robo taxis. consumers can make money off their Model 3s, and imagine if Tesla becomes a ride hail company. That would be pretty big and also adding in autonomous driving to their semi-trucks, which are also fully electric, makes perfect sense. We could be seeing a whole fleet of robo-taxis and also fully autonomous semi-trucks driving around in the country and also around the world. I think Tesla has a really bright future ahead, a lot of really good catalysts, and just looking at the patent, I think they really care about lowering the cost of the FSD, they don't really want to raise the cost and even going as far as not using radar and they strictly do not use LiDAR as well. Elon Musk even tweeted out saying that if LiDAR was free, he wouldn't even use it. I think it's just kind of funny. But so far, let's just see what happens in Tesla in the next few weeks. A lot of brand new stuff are coming in, especially with the Model S refresh, the yoke steering wheel, the Gigafactories in Berlin and also Austin and the upcoming production of the semi truck and massive contracts are coming in. So definitely I will be covering those. Thanks for watching and definitely subscribe.